hard JavaScript interview questions. I think I found one of the hardest ones that I've encountered so far. And that is, can A equals 1 and A equals 2 and A equals 3 ever evaluate to true? Seemingly might uh, you might think that this variable should have all three values at once, which is obviously not possible, but let's just read the question. So is it ever possible that A equals 1 and A equals 2 and A equals 3 could evaluate to true in JavaScript? This is an interview question asked by a major tech company happened two weeks back, but I'm still trying to find the answer. I know we never write such code in the day-to-day -day job, but I'm curious. <laughs> First off, if a major company tries to employ you based on an answer to this question, I don't know. I, I think you should run. How do you solve something like this? Well, when I first looked at this issue, I was like, hmm, this is probably going to do something with type coercion in JavaScript because, you know, you wouldn't be able to find something primitive like a number that uh, can equal to all of these values or a true or boolean or, or string or something like that. This is, this is not gonna work. We need something that can change. JavaScript we know coerces objects and arrays and whatever to something when doing these comparisons. And after some time, and it took me some time, I came up with this solution. See, I think, where's the pen? Pen? One second, give me one second. So what we have here is variable a, which is an object. And in this object, I'm overriding the toString function. This function is called whenever the variable is converted to a primitive, meaning into a string or number or something. This is not the only function, but I've chosen this one. So to string. And what I did here, is that I also defined a property n which equals to zero and just return an increasing value of this n property, uh, which should eventually lead to at first instance being one, second instance being two, and third at the third call being three. So let's see if uh, my solution works here. And yes, it does, it does actually. But I was very suspicious. Is this the right solution? or are there any more solutions like this? And I was very, very much surprised how uh, creative people got uh, solving this issue. And I've never imagined seeing some of these solutions in my life. So let's just take a look. Okay, so the first one, as you can see, is very similar to mine. It's basically the same thing that you simply create an object with a custom to string value or value of, and uh, right now here we have a, a, a symbol as well, so, but doesn't matter that changes it returns each time it is used such that it uh, satisfies all, all three conditions. So you, when you see an issue like this, when it, when the coercion happens, you want a something, a function that is called. See, the toString method is called and you know you can do something in the toString method where you can change the return value. But is there a different way? See, I couldn't resist. The other answers are undoubtedly true, but you really can't walk past the following code. Okay, let's let me try to copy this code. Let me try. Let's let me just copy this. And hey, it does work. But how? What's happening here? How is it possible? How how does he have three variables with the same exact name? The answer is obviously that he doesn't. Note that the weird spacing in the if statement that I copied from a question, it is the half with Hangul, that's Korean from those who are not familiar, which is a Unicode space character that is not interpreted by ECMAScript as a space character. This means that it is a valid character for an identifier. Therefore, there are three completely different variables. One with the Hangul after the A, one with it before and the last one with just an A. Replacing the space with an underscore for readability, the same code would look like this. How creative is that? This is just incredible. I, it never really would cross my mind, but this is this is incredible. But oh boy, can we go even further? Yes, this is not the only solution. Someone using the with keyword, which is very rarely ever used, and just like altering the code a bit, I don't consider this a really good solution, but uh, it's very interesting nevertheless. This keyword is no longer used, it's deprecated, so let's just ignore this one. This is an even shorter solution, and it's and it's. I think this is one of the greatest ones. So as a, he defines an array, and changes the a dot join method to the a dot shift method. What's that? Why is that uh, important? See, let me show you. When you have an array like this, and you make a type coercion, for example, 
into a string, the join method is automatically called to join the values. And what he did is that instead of join, use the shift. So when the shift happens, it takes the first value and removes it from the array, then the second and the third. And so now if I run this code again, then I get first one, two, three, and then I think I'm defined. Yes, this is just nothing short of incredible to me. What an out-of-box thinking. Unbelievable. And ah, here we go. Here we have the symbol dot primitive, two primitive method, which is basically the same as here, same as the my solution or the first solution. But instead, it uses the symbol primitive uh, property, the ES6 equivalent to two string value of. So this is the first one that's called. If it's not available, then JavaScript try to use the value of. If not, then the two string. That simple. But let's see. Are there any other solutions? Yes, again, he uses the width. Very interesting one. Oh, let's just play around with regular expressions. Why not? Again, the same thing to string value of whatever. So he just does a regular expression where he, he just returns one of the values from, from uh, the number. Okay, so this is again the same thing. Oh my god, using web workers and shared array buffers. And oh my god, this is just incredible honorable mention i think here is this uh, object that defined property solution where he defines a property to the window scope which is the normal scope when you're uh, using it in a console or in your browser defines a property a to this window scope which is going to be basically the var variable it's, it's it's the same thing as saying this dot a in the scope of window that's the a variable basically so so see if i say var a is one but and i check the a that's one and window dot a is also one because this is the same reference so in this scope we are referring to the window so here he puts into the window scope the a property and changes its getter method. With the getter function, you can override what is returned when accessing the variable. So it's basically very similar to the method of the, the object, but in this case, he used the defined pro property. And I think this is, this is genius. I never would have thought of this. Uh, I never thought you can use it this way. This is something to learn okay so here we go it's the it's the, again the defined property where he just nests into three levels so self overriding getters oh my god this is similar to genre social but doesn't require counter variable see it doesn't require counter variable you can just go ahead and just nest them infinitely very nice again alternatively you could use a class for it and an instance of the check aha so it, again, this is the value of and make a class and then a new way. So it's basically the same thing when using an object. So most of these solutions uh, just utilize the value of or the two string functions. And it's very nice. <laughs> I mean, okay, I didn't see the answer passed, but so I'll throw this one into the mix. So this is similar to just answer with half with Hangul space. Okay, so yeah, okay. Very nice, and the different Latin lowercase, full with Latin lowercase, I really Okay, okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, what's this? Let me, I need a second to understand what's going on here. Oh, oh, I see. He overrides if. Can you do that? Oh my god, what's this? Can you do that? I don't think you can do that. I'll be very surprised if you can do that. Okay, okay, document, right. Okay, let's just, let's just console log, hey. Oh my God, you can do that. Oh my God, this is the Galaxy Brain solution right here. This is the, this is the best solution I've seen so far. Oh my God, what an absolute legend this dude is. Wow, this should be the accepted answer. I think this is just beyond amazing. They're actually, really really many solutions to this issue but i don't think anyone should be asking something like that maybe as a bonus question because for to me this doesn't really reflect uh, someone's capability for doing a javascript coding job but what what whatever tingles big companies you know i i don't know i'm not i'm not a big company so i wouldn't know and by that this is the end of the video leave a like 
subscribe like subscribe don't forget it don't do not forget it what are you doing subscribe subscribe and thank you very much for watching and i see you in the next one goodbye Thank you.